Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to explore Dr. Event Maker. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because this thing was driving me crazy. And I realized when I was reading the documentation, I missed a line in here. <laughs> so it's Dr. Event Maker, a multi-slot professor. And this is the line I missed. If you want to play another object's motion back instead, you will need to hand edit the expressions generated to the point to the object in question. And so they give this example of the Star Trek turbo lift. And as the object approaches a door and it slides open, well, I just did a tutorial on how you would hand edit that. So I was thinking the event maker was one animation could trigger another separate objects animation. But as you can see, you'd need to hand edit that. And I thought this was for doing that. So Dr. Event Maker by itself, basically you would use it if you have two animations within one object, and then you wanted the second animation to kick in and to kick out at a certain time period. So I'll show you what that would look like. But this was literally driving me crazy. And I just figured, you know, I'm gonna figure this out. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a cube here, just a basic cube. And we're gonna animate it in two, two parameters, you could say. So let's say, I just want it to go from left to right. So let's say it's right there. Let me reposition myself here a little bit. Let me go this way, have more of a full screen. Okay, so let's say, let me match my perspective too so I get that straight. Okay, so let's say I want it to go from left to right. That's the one at first animation. So we're gonna have it go on the X axis over here and that is animation one, okay? And then let's say I also am gonna put a rotation on this. So let's say I'll start there, I'll drag this to the end, and then we're gonna go ahead and spin it around a little bit like that. Okay, so then our combined animation is this, a spinning cube going left to right, right? So let's say I wanted, I didn't want the cube to spin the whole time and I just wanted it to spin for a section, maybe like in the middle or toward the end. Well, I can use Dr. Event Maker for that. In the last video, I kept calling it the <laughs> Dr. Event Dispatcher, but it's Dr. Event Maker. So anyway, how to do that, it's, it's kind of easy. It's kind of cool once you start getting your mind around some of this. So if you go M, and then we'll come to the Relativity Expression Module. I just think it's a good term to use at dinner parties too if you're trying to impress people. So because it's a multi-slot, we can go here and do everything that we need to do. So it doesn't matter which one that we're on. So let's go ask the professor, doctor, event maker, and we'll click on this and we'll have it resettable. And so it asks, enter the channels you would like this event on and it would be on the rotation, right? So we want it to, let's say the rotation to kick in at the 100th frame to the 120th frame. So we'll go there. And then let me see here. That's just the animation. I wasn't paying attention to something, I'm sorry. So let me go, <laughs> let me go back and look at this one more time. So if I'm on the X axis, what is my value, what I wanted to kick in at? So let's say, at, let's say it's six, six meters right here about six meters, I want it to start rotating. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to, I should have checked that first. Okay, let's start it again. So we'll go into variables. We'll ask our professor. We'll go into the event maker. We want it to start rotating on the H. The object, of course, is itself. So it's just what that. And if we wanted it to trigger a second one, we'd have to do a hand coding like I did in the other tutorial. And here's the thing right here. So right when X is greater than six, then we want it to start rotating and we just want it to play the rotation. Let's say that we had, it doesn't really matter anywhere along the, the way. I could just say from the zero to the 40th frame. And that's all we have to do and go okay and continue. Okay and continue. And now what should happen when we play this, it won't start rotating until X gets to the six, and then it should start playing the rotation it was doing from zero to 40 frames. So let's see if that's what it does. See how it starts rotating at the end? 
Yeah, so that's what you can do. So basically, Dr. Event Maker is if you had two or three or four animations on one object and you wanted to trigger them to occur at a certain time. It's pretty cool. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.